power does not travel in words. But power is the result of relationship. The power comes after the result of the relationship you experience with the Holy Spirit. And there's a seek of power intimacy. Jesus had that incredible experience with his Father that gave him the ability to be able to fulfill the will of his Father. We've come so far, but now there remains incredible spiritual strongholds that can only be penetrated by the supernatural. We have got to rise up to a higher level of strategic spiritual warfare that will demolish the last stronghold of Satan in this last hour, we are going to have to have a supernatural manifestation. The power will only come after we have an experience with the Holy Ghost. God didn't ask you to do it in your own strength. He said, I'm going to put my words in your mouth. What I'm going to put in your mouth, you're going to root out. You're going to tear down. You're going to pull down. Don't you dare try until you get my word in your mouth. They filled Jesus with his humanity, with the Holy Ghost. And that's why you and I have got to have the same Holy Ghost if we're going to do the same work. There's a family waiting for you to witness. There's a church there that's dead, that's waiting for somebody with resurrection life and resurrection power, with the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead. God didn't ask you to do it in your own strength. He said, I'm going to put my words in your mouth. Well, I will bless the Lord and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Somebody just go ahead and give God some praise today. Don, Mark, I am excited. Day two of the life-changing Morris Cirillo Miracle Power Living School of Ministry. Hallelujah. Traveling around the world with Dr. Srollo, I've seen him do a tremendous impartation of spiritual eyesight. Good. And I couldn't help but see that you have the book, Supernatural Eyesight. Yes. And I know you're going to remind them because these are principles that Dr. Srollo uses to literally strip the devil of his power in your life and unleash the reality of miracle faith. Mark. Yeah, and I'm still eating and drinking of the so teaching good. of yesterday that we are one with the God of miracle. And we are had for amazing experience in our own life and in your life by walking with the God of miracle. You know, Mark and Don, we're about to connect with Brother Cirillo. We're standing in the middle of a miracle. You see, we think of the miracle working power of God and we think of deaf ears opening. We think of God touching us in our physical body and he does do that. But I declare that there is a financial, there is a promotion miracle that God is releasing to us as we stay connected to this prophet of God. You see, the anointing that you honor is the anointing that you attract. Morris Cirillo not only walked under an incredible anointing for miracles and healing, but there was a special favor of God upon his life. We couldn't be standing in the middle of a $200 million state-of-the-art 
the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life, Legacy Training Center, not built by an organization, but built by a supernatural God because there was a man by the name of Morris Cirillo. He lost both of his parents at the age of two, orphan, raised in a Jewish Orthodox orphanage. I want to encourage you, if you don't have Brother Cirillo's life story, I'm going to put it on the page today. I'll put it in your email. It's normally a $25 value. We'll make it available just this week for $10. It's the legend of Morris Cirillo. How God chose an orphan to change the world. And we're standing in the middle of the proof. Brother Cirillo talks about proof producers. It's one thing to talk the talk. There's a lot of preachers, a lot of speakers, but then there are people like Paul who said, I don't just come with enticing words of man's wisdom, but with a manifestation. And that is where God is taking us, Mark. That is where God is taking us, Don. You could not have, in my humble opinion, a greater teacher, because this is not just a teacher. This is a man that lived this. This is a man that manifested this. We saw it in his life every day, not just on the platform, behind the scenes. Don, I'm excited today. Yeah, the demonstration, but I don't believe we need to wait. I believe you're gonna experience that demonstration yes. right during the course as the revelation hits you. So Mark, if we are ready, Don, if we are ready, people in Nigeria, wherever you are, Kenya, Philippines, the United States, Canada, wherever you are, if you are ready, I want you to shout, I am ready, and join me in welcoming God's servant, Dr. Morris Cirillo. First, if we're going to move into this supernatural manifestation, someone say, I am one. With the God of signs and wonders. Are you? Do you want to be? Really? If that's going to happen, the first thing that will have to take place in our spiritual lives is this. We are going to have to see beyond the natural. <laughs> you can't partake of something you cannot see. You know why so many of you are not healed? Because you never see yourself. Are you getting this? Yes. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. What do you see? When you see the full work of Jesus Christ, when you see him in Pilate's judgment chamber, when you see him strapped to the whipping post, when you see the words of the prophet Isaiah, he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. to be able to see 
beyond the natural and see into the supernatural. Because as long as you only see the natural, you will never experience God's supernatural provisions. Are, are you out there tonight? I want you to let me read to you a little bit from the Old Testament tonight. Second Kings, chapter six. There's a king of Syria here that is in a tremendous turmoil. He's warring. Second Kings, sixth chapter. He's warring against Israel. But the strange thing about it, each time he meets with his servants to plan his attack on Israel, God supernaturally reveals those plans to his prophet, Elisha. The king of Syria warned, warned against Israel. He took counsel with his servants saying, in such a place shall be my king. And the man of God sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware, don't go that way. For the Syrians are come down. And the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him, and warmed him up, and saved himself, not once nor twice, but again and again and again. Therefore, the heart of the king was sore troubled. He called his servants. He said unto them, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? Who's the traitor that sits in my midst and is telling the king of Israel all of my plans. And one of his servants said, it's not any of us. But he likes you. Ladies and gentlemen, please look at God's servant tonight. It's going to come a time again now. See, the devil thinks that he has put Christians in such a position where the world is mocking the church. There has never been such mockery against the church, such cynicism against the church in the hearts of sinners as there is today. And I tell you in the name of Jesus that God will raise up prophets
It's like the prophet said to the leper Naaman, let him come now to me. He'll know there's somebody that's alive that has the manifestation of the power of God in their life. There's something about the true power of God flowing in the life of an individual. People know it. This man who served in the household of the king of Syria knew that there was a prophet He said, it's not one of us. He said, there's a man of God over in the other people's camp. And he sees beyond the natural. Look at all those chariots. Look at all those swords. Look 
Look at all those spears. Look at them. We're surrounded on every side. And you're saying, don't be afraid. Elisha said, don't be afraid. <laughs> because those that are with us of your life. Why so many of us stumble and why so many of us fall is because we are looking at our natural circumstances. You're looking at your financial condition. They're going to be hindrances to you if you're going to put your eyes on those circumstances. If you're looking at your physical body with cancer or tuberculosis or paralyzed arm or leg or high blood pressure or stomach disorder or heart trouble. If you're going to look at your physical condition, if you're going to look at the natural, it's going to be a hindrance to you. The servant Gehazi, when he saw the circumstances of the enemy surrounding the house of his master, his heart was struck with fear. My God, he says, what shall we do? Now there's a difference, brother, in shouting, my God, what shall we do? And shouting, thank God for what you have. circumstance but when you have spiritual sight you don't see the sickness you see past that into the provision of the healing power that's why it's so important that we understand 
understand the basis. Because remember, we said yesterday that the basis is not a doctrine. It's not a theology. It's not the teaching of some theological seminary. But our basis is not the theology of man. Our basis is not the concepts of man, what they think about God or what has been passed down to us by any church, be it the Catholic church or be it the Methodist church or be it the Presbyterians or be it the Baptist. You can't help what people think. Don't get your mind filled and cluttered with the ideas and the concepts of man. You say, Brother Shula, I've got to know what to believe. If I don't hear somebody and I don't follow them, I don't know what to believe. I'll tell you, brother, what to believe. Just accept it, because God's not stupid. He's not ignorant. He's not a manipulator. He says what he means, he means what he says, and he doesn't need a theologian to twist it and turn it around and shove it in a ability to move forward in faith regardless of our circumstances. I want to tell you something today. I really don't care what you're facing. If you are one with the God of signs and wonders and miracles, I don't care what You don't have to. 
to be afraid. And I'm telling you today, just like Elisha told his servant, you don't have to be afraid. 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 What? Because, listen to me, Gehazia. Listen to me. Listen to me. You can't see it because you haven't had the spiritual breakthrough. But I'm going to pray for you. He said, when I get through praying for you, he said, you're going to see past the natural. You're going to take the first step. You're going to understand what I know about miracle power living and signs and wonders and the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. You're going to understand it, Gehazia. Those that are with us, read it, are greater than those that are against us. Somebody raise your right hand. Somebody say, I am one. With the God, with the God of, signs of signs and wonders and, wonders and, miracles. and miracles. It's sad. Most of the Christians only see as far as their problems. And then our problems come and crush us. It's easy when we become caught in that cycle of defeat. It's easy. Go ahead. I have counsel with the best of them. It's easy when you're caught in that cycle of defeat to forget that our God is a supernatural It's true, whoever wrote that song, he holds the world in his hands. We need God to open our eyes. Elisha prayed. Verse 17 of this sixth chapter. Oh Lord, open his eyes so he may see.
Listen, Lord. Well, somebody go ahead and say supernatural eyesight. If you're not driving your car, I want to just encourage you, take a moment, put your hands on your eyes. Mark, there is a miracle of supernatural eyesight that is being released through this school of ministry. I can't tell you how many times I saw Brother Cirillo in a meeting have the people put their uh, hands on their eyes and release the miracle of supernatural eyesight. What is supernatural eyesight? It is seeing God the way Elisha saw God. It is seeing God the way that God really is. It is seeing a God that is bigger than your problem. It is seeing the bigness of your God greater than the bigness of your need. Mark, what a download, what an impartation that we are receiving through this school of ministry. Yeah, this, this is truly amazing. And it reminds me when I was crying to the Lord to say, when I was saying, God, I want to hear you. I want to hear your voice. I want to see you give me that capacity to see into the supernatural and the message the teaching of Dr. Cirillo has helped me so much because let's be honest I was shocked and I'm still shocked sometime in the church to see that so few people have ever heard or have ever seen God and I don't know how they live their lives but me I am hungry to hear God. I am dying every day. God, I want to see you. God, I want to hear you. And I love the question of Dr. Serino when he says, what do you see? Yeah. What, what do you see when you look at your circumstances? And you only see what you are looking at. If you are looking at uh, the natural things, then you will see the lies of the devil. But if you are looking at the supernatural, the spiritual things, the promises of God, the, the, that small voice of the Holy Spirit talking to you in your time of intimacy, then you will see the God of miracle. And God, I pray. I pray for my brothers and my sisters. And I pray for myself. 
open our spiritual eyes. Give us supernatural eyesight every day more and more. And Mark, I love that. I receive that. I heard the voice of Brother Thrillo as he has released this word so many times during our years together. And this word right now is worth a million dollars. This is what Mark is saying. This is what Brother Cirillo is saying. This is what spiritual eyesight is all about. Get ready for this. This is gonna be on your quiz. I'm gonna tell you that right now because this is a Morris Cirillo, Morris Cirillo, Morris Cirillo word from God. And here's the word. If you will see into the invisible, you will dare to do the impossible. I'm gonna say that one more time. It was said by a man who saw this place before the first foundation was laid. This is a man that did not allow what he saw in the natural to limit his faith. So I want us to say it again. If I see into the invisible, Don, we will dare to do the impossible. Yes, and I want to stay very focused on what Mark brought forth and what you just said. Uh, the sad thing though is we can hear a message mm -hmm. like this and say hallelujah and then go right back to thinking natural and having a list of why are these circumstances. So these are utterances from Dr. Srillo. Uh, at some point you'll get a chance, but Greg was saying earlier, the bigness of your need, your circumstances, don't look to the bigness of your need, look to the bigness of your God. These are utterances that Dr. Srillo gives as goads to lead you through the battle victoriously. And I just like it if we can conclude with the prophecy that he said during the, uh, during the time of teaching, God is going to open the eyes of his people. God is going to open the eyes of his people. So they will be able to see into the spirit realm. So that they will be able to see into the spirit realm. And they are going to see God. And they are going to see God. As the God of signs and wonders. As the God of signs and wonders. And they are going to be able to see. And they are going to be able to see. Concerning their own experiences. Concerning their own experiences. What God is doing in their behalf. What God is doing in their behalf. As they're walking in the midst. As they're walking in the midst. Of what may seem to be fiery trials. Of what may seem to be fiery trials. Of the enemy. Of the enemy. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. So you may be walking through a fiery trial, but as Greg said, if you will look into the invisible you will dare to do the impossible and you may not end up with a legacy center like this but god will bring to pass that vision that hope that godly desire that he put in your heart through his promises you know don just as we close today i just believe that god is releasing a spirit of wisdom god is releasing a spirit of revelation what revelation is it's the unveiling, it's seeing God as he really is. I want to encourage you, stay connected to these Facebook Live School of Ministry sessions. You are touching a man that has touched God, that has invested his life to bring the revelation that we get to receive every day. The Lord is preparing before us a table even in the presence of our enemies. And just today, I want to encourage you. I pulled this out of our library. Actually, Jerry brought it down to me just a few minutes ago. You want to have this incredible revelation, supernatural eyesight, seeing through the eyes of the Holy Spirit. We'll make it available just for the next few days, but that's what it's all about. Dawn, I'm excited. Tomorrow is day three. I just believe, Mark, as we stay connected, God is doing something for us that he's never done before. Oh, yes, Greg. God is doing something for us that he has never done before. And, and you know, I take it for me personally. Yeah. I want more of God 
every day of my life. And you know, Greg, in parallel that we have those amazing school of ministry in English, we have also started two weeks ago the French school of ministry on the French Facebook page, Maurice Cerulo Francophonie. And on Thursday, they're going to be asked to take their first test and then they're going to receive their first certificate and Oh, hallelujah, la francophonie appartient à Jésus. Amen. Amen. And Don, we're doing the same thing in Spanish. Yes, we're launching the, uh, they're going to start with Battle for the Mind Great. because the proof producers is, many of the people have already done the proof producers, they will do it again. And so we'll be giving you more information. Uh, Escuela de Ministerio en la página uh, Ministerio en Español de Maurice Cerullo or Escuela del Ministerio de la Batalla para su mente. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Con well, anfitrión, uh, Profeta Oscar Venegas. The links for the French and the Spanish Facebook page are right here on the page today. Go ahead and click on it if you're French speaking or you're Spanish speaking or you know somebody that would be blessed by the ministry in French or Spanish. Share it with somebody. Help us to get the word out. God gave Brother Cirillo an incredible mandate to build him an army in the nations of the world. Jesus said this gospel shall be preached in every nation and then the end shall come. So thank you today for staying connected. Thank you today for praying for our team. We're praying for you. And I also want to remind you, if you'd like to get more information about Mark or Don or myself or one of our associate ministers coming to your city, whether it's here in the United States or whether it's in Africa or Asia or in the Middle East or in the four corners of the globe, wherever you are, you have a burden to bring this anointing, to bring this ministry and message to your city, to your nation. I want you to use the link on the Facebook page. Let us know who you are and then we can reach back out to you can answer your questions and we can talk to you about a time when all of this clears that by the grace of God we would be with you to see salvation to see miracles signs wonders God's army being built well on behalf of Mark Masson today on behalf of Don Mandel on behalf of the First Lady your ministry Mara Cirillo world evangelism this is Greg Morrow saying we're so proud of you this is Greg Morrow saying that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in him. We'll see you tomorrow on Live from Legacy.